when I used to come back to visit in New Zealand and stuff, I used to bring each family member like from Puriru and onwards, like a gift like from New Mia and everywhere. Yeah, and, and it was always a wooden spoon to whoop their kids. Or, you know, it was ornamental or something that I made with one of my grandparents. Yeah, or a book or something, a boomerang. And they weren't respectful of it. Even Christmas, you know, oh God, traditional cardigans, those were fucking ugly. I used to make my own stuff. Yeah, and you live off the land and how you fish and everything. You have to make your own waka and everything, and it's so cool. In India, you have to help out Indonesia grow and build countries. Even do your washing and bath just as they do, and it's so beautiful. It is like just the life experiences of being a native person and exploring the world, you know, as a family and as a, a indigenous species. And you know, I am who I am, and I am from four different continents of the world, four different parts of the world. Um, which has made me who I am and um, studying the native people, especially the Māori, Moriori's um, and just having the knowledge that I do have, um, I've never shown that off. I've always, yeah, like um, just having nothing but the finest and people hacking my page of the royal, um, you know, it's a royal page, it's nothing but the highest, uh, especially on Facebook, it's easier to communicate with my family and people, um, you know, um, well, confiscating Facebook and hacking it, Twitter, everything. Um, before, every time something went wrong, especially down the other side there, um, I had limos and servants and all sorts with my cookles, depending on who come, um, yeah, high-ranking members. Um, I had limos and, you know, if you told your cousins to get your bag out, your fucking whole car limo is gone. <laughs> You close everything, you know, Avon, all of it, me and my brothers, yeah, we had lots, yeah, but you know, no one knew how to share, um, and lollies, treats, those were something that you made from cocoa beans, and you had to explore the world, and in order to create such beautiful chocolate, nothing but the finest, um, and we um, cocoa and all of it, um, yeah, just from a plant-based material, homes, you name it. Um, and you know just what Christmas is all about, Thanksgiving, um, bringing those sort of American style, um, I would call it substitutes to drinking into a country that it's non-existent, um, people don't respect it, they drink, they you know smoke too much and do fuck all and they're selfish fat pigs over here in New Zealand and quite a few countries, obesity from being, you know, convenience of the, the modern day world, uh, the atmosphere is n non-existent, but peeping out the window, cutting each other's throats. Um, you need to go out and explore the world by doing hard work, um, building yourself and your each other up by the ground up. That's the only way you're going to get out of your hellhole of a lifestyle. Um, amnesia, um, stuck within your own walls, in your brain. Um, explore, open your mind up to different things. Um, please, you're negative. You have not experienced yourself in order to speak such words. Um, you know, even sharing, like, you know, my grandma and them used to, all of them, knit something or give you a gift which was a you know a family heirloom which you should have respect respected instead of you know wanting gold and money because it's not an existent and why it was extinct from the race because money makes you greedy it does it's to light the fire um you know all you know i just looked at my parents like everyone in their house like they're all mob scrubbers and you know ignorant to what they have done and just the poverty within the people you know the negligence of the race and what costumes you come from and just being who i am from the august ingenuity side plus you know um i did look chinese yeah and that's what people don't understand yeah me and my brothers as we matured, we we showed our full Māori side, and that's what it is. You know, um, right to coming back and sharing chocolate and stuff and sweets, you know, and just being thankful for having one piece of chocolate a day, 
and everyone had a calendar you know we had to start little in order for you to learn and fold your clothes and have a bath and clean your fucking room and your house and stop watching your parents take dog tablets scooby-doo snacks you're eating dog biscuits where the fuck's the food it was rotten in the house and that's why they took my phone off me all of it and doc's got it that's right Call who and them had it. Bronco had it. That's mine. That's my personal phone. It's an aircom. That's right. I, yeah. I just look at everyone like they're foreigners, and it is my life. And I had to come here and learn my Maori heritage, and I did. Yeah. I was brought up on the other side of the world, and that's what no one knows because they were fucking wasted, especially at Tafari School. You know, I hated it. You know, every time something went wrong, the air force is there. <laughs>